Hey everyone, welcome to Q&A Thursdays. It's Donna, Simply Living Wellness. So excited to be here with you. Wow, it's been a journey with this detox and I wanted to share that with you today. Plus answer any questions that might come in. Um, I have been, let's see, I'm, I'm now on month eight of my detoxification. I got tested, I had a mold, parasites, candida, and off the charts, mercury, arsenic, um, BPA, which is a chemical they put in plastics, oxalates, and among others, those were the highest. Um, and the symptoms that I was having that led me to go down this path in the first place, mostly was the joint pain, severe joint pain in my um, thumbs in particular and my left big toe. And I've been tested for gout and arthritis. I do have some cartilage loss, which can be caused by the inflammation. Um, and it was not gout because um, it's kind of interesting it's in the left is in my big toe and that's really common for gout but i i was tested negative for that um so it was my joint pain my frequent colds i would get at least once usually twice a month like almost every other week i would get this feeling like it was coming down with a cold i didn't always actually get a cold but I would get colds frequently, but I would be feeling like I was getting a cold, like I was fighting it. And I would have to stop exercising, stop what I was doing. I would not go out. I, I just felt like I was getting sick. And then this would go on, you know, three or so days. And then often I would just overcome it and I wouldn't get a cold, but then it would come back again in two weeks. And this has been going on for a very long time since basically college, um, late 20s in particular, and then over the past 15 years, it's been, you know, just like clockwork. So something I've dealt with for a very long time, no one could help me figure that out. You know, I've tried all kinds of cleanses and eating clean and exercising and meditating and you name it. I've been doing that for years. Nothing seemed to help. Supplements up the wazoo. Um, so that was my other symptom, the joint pain, the frequent colds. I would get insomnia like clockwork, pretty much two or three o'clock in the morning, wake up, couldn't go back to sleep. My head would be spinning. I just figured it was stress, right? And I'm sure some of it was that as well. Um, other symptoms were a lot of hair loss. After a shower, I would have literally clumps of hair at the drain. Um, and the other thing was high cortisol, uh, elevated cortisol, a lot of weight gain around my stomach area that just I couldn't get rid of. Um, and I'm still struggling with that. So I'm going to give you the updates on what on the cleanse and what's helped and so far and that kind of thing. But those were the main symptoms that led me on this journey. I heard about this through a colleague who then um, introduced a doctor in Austin to me. And um, both of their stories were incredible. Um, my friend and colleague, Mike Dillard, he um, suffered from extreme mold uh, toxicity, was pretty much debilitated for months, if not like over a year, and um, couldn't, they couldn't figure out what was going on. Then they finally figured out that he had mold toxicity and took him two years to get healed from that. And he's just now really starting to come back to his normal energy and normal self. And then the doctor I'm working with, um, she got very sick and started putting on a lot of weight um, as a young, very young age, early 20s, and nobody could figure out what was going on, and test after test, and doctor after doctor, and then she um, went into study medicine herself, um, and basically came down to that she had Lyme disease, and but that was 
um, triggered or, you know, exasperated by the tox you know, toxins in her body, when she finally cleansed, uh, well, not really cleansed, it's a detox. It's like getting what's in the body out of these neurotoxins. That's when she got her life back and the weight just came off um, without even trying, really. A lot of it was bloating and water weight, um, but then the excess weight just came off and, you know, she also was had no energy, couldn't get out of bed. I mean, it was horrible for a very long time. So she's healed from that. So anyway, that's their story. My story was the joint pain, the insomnia, the hair loss, the high cortisol, the weight loss resistance, just very difficult to get this extra weight off around my stomach, especially. And, um, I got tested with this doctor of mine in Austin and, and she works virtually and found I was high in all of these um, neurotoxins and extremely inflamed and that's exactly what happens is that the cells become inflamed, the cell membranes become inflamed and so the cell receptors, the hormone receptors don't work anymore and the whole endocrine system basically shuts down. I mean, it doesn't shut down, but it doesn't work. So you could have hormones in the blood or not hormones. You can get tested for that. It doesn't really matter. If the cells can't talk to the hormones, then the hormones can't do their job. The hormones can't get into the cells, and the neurotoxins that are stuck in the cells can't get out because the cell membranes are inflamed. And it's this whole process that causes all kinds of health issues, chronic and when it goes on for long enough, then it starts to, to create serious health issues like autoimmune issues and um, Hashimoto's and thyroid issues and elevated cortisol and type 2 diabetes and you name it, the list goes on. So I decided to get tested and then go on this detox journey. And it takes a while because um, it's decades of buildup in my cells, and um, it um, it's you want to get rid of it slowly. And they tend to store in the fat cells in our brain. Our is has a lot of fat tissue, and so it gets into the brain and causes more neurological issues. And the fat does not want your body does not want to release the fat because when you release these toxins out of the cells it's um you get a worse reaction because now they're floating around the body and um you feel pretty bad like you have the flu and those kind of symptoms for tired tired fatigue yeah um headaches things like that so um you want to do it slowly and you want to work under a doctor's care it's highly advisable and um i can share with you my journey and if you have any questions let me know so um, it's been going on now eight months. The first month was just preparing for the detox, preparing the body, opening up the detox pathways, supporting the liver and the kidney. Then I went into the um, parasite mold and candida. Well, candida, you don't target specifically. It is a fungi, I think, um, but it tends to take care of itself once you address the mold and the parasites, of which I had both. I had one parasite. Um, a lot of people have a lot more. It's very common. And um, so the first three to six months is just killing off those organisms and um, getting those out of the body. So you kill them off with these strong herbs, but then you have to have very specific binders that pull them out of the body. And so doing it slowly and not too aggressively will you know, minimize those symptoms that you get. I did have a lot of those symptoms, but you know, once they would act up, then I would slow back down on the supplementation. So that was the first phase. Now I'm in the second phase, which is the heavy metal detox and the um, environmental toxins like these microplastics that are everywhere and in everyone and um, causing so much havoc on the body. So the microplastics, the all kinds of heavy metals and um, other environmental toxins like pesticides and glyphosate and all of that stuff. I was very high in glyphosate too, actually. I forgot that one. So um, 
I have a few more months to go because I'm, I can feel that I'm still detoxing. So there's still mold, more to pull out. The weight has not come off yet. That's usually last to go is what my doctor uh, sees in her patients. Um, but I have resolved about, I'd say a little today, it's more than 50%, but on average 50% less pain in my thumb joints. And I like was at a point where I couldn't even open a jar, like it was so painful. So that's about 50% resolved. My frequent colds have gone away. I've gotten two small colds this year. They were very short in duration, like one to three days. And then they pretty much, they went away. So, but I don't get that feeling that like I'm getting sick like every other week, twice a month. Um, so that has completely gone away. The joint pain's half gone. The hair loss has um, gotten much better. I don't have these clumps of hair after I take a shower. And the insomnia has gone away. I don't wake up in the middle of the night anymore and can't get back to sleep. Sometimes I wake up early, like five, and I can't go back to sleep, but not in the middle of the night. Um, and the cortisol, I think, is still an issue. Um, it's going to take a while for the hormones to then balance out, and I'm going to be going through it the, after the heavy metal phase. I'm going to be going into a gut restore phase where I'm really rebuilding the gut and um, supporting the gut, drinking a lot of bone broth, things like that and that will be the final so i will keep you posted on my progress so far i'm extremely grateful for the results that i've gotten so far and um, i would invite you to take my neurotoxicity assessment quiz i was certified by dr pompa um, who also does detox programs and um, he's the other doctor i'm studying under and I invite you to do that. Also, just knowing these hidden sources, these unknown sources of all this toxicity, these neurotoxins that are everywhere and in things like you wouldn't even realize. So posting a lot about that. Um, I have a free guide. You can leave me a comment. I'll send you a link to that. Um, 200 plus neurotoxins um, hidden sources of neurotoxins it took me hours to put together and my neurotoxicity assessment quiz it's free i can drop you a link to that as well and thank you for being here uh, we don't have any questions here live today so um, if you think of something you are welcome to post it in the comments below and i'll answer it next thursday at noon pacific q a thursdays simply living wellness and have a beautiful rest of your day everyone